Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we're here with Marty from Comic Book Fanatics, and uh, we're on our way right now to a Dallas comic show. We're here to pick up some really cool stuff. Personally, I'm trying to get Craven uh, first appearance, Amazing Spider-Man 15, maybe Saga 1, and uh, just, you know, looking for some Amazing Spider-Mans. What about you, Marty? Same thing, going down there, looking for some good deals, looking for some good books. Um, definitely looking out for Amazing Spider-Man number 15 as well, first appearance of Craven. Uh, if I can get that one, I can get uh, 15 to 700 volume one run, and of course, uh, any type of key issues, maybe some variants that I've missed out there. But uh, looking forward to it. We got about, uh, looks like about 36 minutes to actually hit destination. Once we get down there, we're going to get to browsing. Yeah. <laughs> so be ready, because we're going. Look out on the street. The party's just beginning. The music's playing. A starting. A two We've arrived, and we have to pee so bad. So uh, we're going to go in there pretty quick. Back to the flow. <laughs> All right, just browsing right now, looking for some cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff everywhere. Um, Marty's doing his thing, you know. When you go places, you always go places together, but kind of, you kind of split up a little bit. So we'll see what we got. So far, nothing, but let's check it out. Hey, check this out, guys. This is some golden age. If you right need here. anything, I'm right behind. You. Thank you. You got um, Wonder Woman number thirty. You got some golden age Batman's right there. There's a lot of Golden Age books right here, so that's why we're comic book fanatics, man, because this, these things are crazy. Uh, but you, you gotta love them. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> right there. <laughs> awesome. All right, so we are here at the Dallas North Texas uh, comic book show, and it's up here in Dallas. Now, it's not a big form. It's sort of a, a small form, but they've got some dollar books. They have some Silver Ages key issues. However, one thing I noticed is their Silver Ages are a little bit overpriced. Good thing about it is they uh, they're willing to work with you and make uh, make a deal. But one thing I noticed too is a lot of their Silver Ages are kind of crunchy. I don't see a lot of key issues or Silver Age key issues that are in really nice shape. Um, a lot of them a little bit more overpriced, but uh, this is our break right here, right? Yeah. Our break. break. So after after this lunch, we're gonna go back in there and we're trying to do some wheeling and dealing because you know what. I, I think I could probably get a fair price for some of the books I was looking for, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, same thing. So far, just just too overpriced for me. Uh, I've seen a Saga that I wanted, but it was probably like a 4.0. Terrible. And if I'm going to get modern, it has to be a good condition. Um, Amazing Spider-Mans are in terrible condition, but there's going to be other stuff. A couple Iron Fists I want, so I'm going to be looking for the Iron Fist mostly. social media more than I do. I, you know, like I had somebody take a few pictures of me here just so I can post it on Facebook and just go, hey, I was there. <laughs> I was at that show. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's nice. Take more. You know, more is better. It's like, it's like more value added. That's what, that's what we want here, right? So, Anika really has to be able to draw. You know, in the end, he's got to be able to draw well enough to pull it off. Now, do they, does the artist who, who gives you that, do they have the skill to ink it or they don't have the time or how's that work? Um, usually they don't. They don't I mean, have the skill. Okay. They don't, yeah, they haven't put the time in to figure it out. And, you know, some do, but they're just so slow that they could never pull it off. 
you know. And yeah. other guys are, you know, they call them creators when they do everything. Write it, draw it, ink it, and they can do everything. And, you know, I could do that, but it's like, I know that I'm slow as a pencil. So, you know, it's like if I did a project, I'd have to have plenty of time, you know, to get it done. So that's why I, I did a lot of inking. And it, was, it worked out pretty well for me. I can't complain. How do you think modern art compares to the older stuff? You mean the like current mo- comic books? Yeah, current comic books. I, you know, I think there's some good and some bad. I mean, I think it's kind of like some guys are using, you know, like the computer uh, well, and some of them are using it way too much, and, and you know, they're kind of cheating, and, the, you know, they're using photographs and for buildings in the background, and they're, they're using photographs for faces. And what that does is, even though maybe they're drawing from it, not tracing it, but it, it takes away from... You know, like, you know, when you draw as a comic book artist, you're supposed to be building something. Like, you know, it's like an engineer. You build it. You build it from zero. It's like, here's the layout. Here's how the figure is. You break it down. You pick the pose. You do the character. You don't just try and go, oh, there's a, I want to put this face over here. I'm going to put this building here and do a collage and make it into a panel. That's one way to do it. But it's not the pure, you know, art of drawing. And there are a lot of guys that suck, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> now they can't draw. I mean, it's like they can draw, but if you ask them to go build a bunch of stuff, like, okay, I want a three-point perspective, and I want this character over here, and I want that, and it's like you can't use the computer, they'd be lost in space. You know, it's like, so it's, this it's, I think that there's a certain good thing about the old school, because there were guys that were phenomenal artists that... I don't think we have some of those guys anymore. But there's there are some great guys. I'm not saying there aren't. There are some amazing artists that are you know doing comics now. So it's just I think there's good and bad. You know? we're, we're keeping it real, taking a break, drinking me a Ziegenbach, and just kind of getting off my feet, resting up the day, and uh, we're gonna go back in there and hopefully our commission is gonna be done. Thank you so much. Mine is better looking than yours, man. Look at that. Yours is in pencil, you know. It's like, but that's. All right, so we just finished up at the Dallas Comic Show. It was really good. Great time, Marty. What'd you think? Um, it it was a really good day. It was a good show because it was a smaller show. Uh, so there wasn't a lot of people there just for a different variety of things. It was more focused on comic books, the artist, and so. And they also had a uh, cosplay convention as well, you know? So that was really nice. It was a small little cosplay thing. It was like a $100 gift prize and a uh, original type of prop uh, as a prize as well. So I, I think it was pretty good, you know? Um, not a lot of deals because a lot of the key issues, the Silver Ages, I think personally they were a little bit overpriced like most conventions or most shows are. Uh, but nevertheless, I still got some good picks. What about you? Yeah, I definitely would say like it was it was overpriced and people weren't really willing to bargain. Maybe it's because it's the first day. I, I'm not entirely sure, but um, for example, I saw like Captain America 100, and I'm like, it's sixty dollars. I'm not gonna pay you sixty dollars for this terrible condition. So hey, I'll give you uh, forty. Nah. Uh, they'll say 55 and I'm like nah man how about how about 45 like nah 50 like nah it's it's okay I don't need it that bad so yeah definitely they didn't want to haggle too much and uh, the amazing spider-mans which you guys know I'm mainly looking for um, they had extremely poor conditions we saw this one where this guy wanted 75 dollars for the number six or 20 or some shit like that mm-hmm, yeah and it was fully laminated some kid laminated the comic book <laughs> yeah, I mean and, and I oh my god I don't understand why you would laminate a comic book and and the condition was garbage it was yeah. faded it was trash it was terrible so all in all like great time fun time got you couldn't even give that to me you, you know you couldn't give it to me if you gave it to me I'd probably put it in the bathroom and use it as toilet paper or something definitely I don't know I mean what, what do you think I mean yeah I, was it a number five or a number six yeah something oh, like that oh my god it was just so ugly and he he, he wanted 75 dollars for it i was waiting for him to say hey you can have it for free i'd be like no good luck with that take it back but uh no no not, no it wasn't for me at all yeah i, I wouldn't pay anything for it i pay zero dollars for zero dollars zero <laughs> <laughs> but uh so what'd you pick up marty well uh i picked up quite a few things of course um one, one of my three biggest things I, I would say i've got i've got three commissions done one of them was by michael golden he did a Rogue for me. If you guys don't know, he was creator of Rogue, so he did a Rogue art sketch, 
and then also got Baba Cl Cloud to do a uh, black cat for me on an Amazing Spider-Man cover, and then also got Randy Eberman. Is it Eberman? Is yeah, that, yeah, I think that's his name. Um, he uh, he's actually doing a, an Amazing Spider-Man uh, sketch in a. And he's going to ink it. Unfortunately, he didn't get done with it. It was just too late. So I just told him to mail it to me. So it's a really nice guy. And, uh, you know, a few comic books, a few variants here and there. No really ma major key issues. But I think I also picked up. Let's see if I can get it. Is this mine? Yeah, yeah, this is mine right here. So yeah. let me see if I can do this without crashing. Uh, <laughs> so I got this signed by Randy. It's Amazing Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous sketch. I just love this. And then another another gorgeous sketch right here. Look at that. Print, I'm sorry, not, you know, I guess you can say it's a print sketch. But it has uh, uh, Zatanna, the black uh, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, the Huntress, looks like Poison Ivy on the bottom. Yeah. So I was very happy to get this, and he threw this one in for free. That was really nice. This was only 10 bucks, and he threw this other one for free. That's why I love going to these conventions. You sit down and you talk to these guys for a little bit, and uh, you bullshit with them, and you know, they're, uh, you get to know them, they're really nice. Yeah. Definitely. So I picked up the cameo of Gambit, you know, the one where he doesn't talk. Uh, of course, I was looking for the main Spider-Man, but it, it just wasn't happening with the prices and the conditions. I'm not looking for that. I'd rather go on eBay. I uh, got three issues of Bloodshot, one, two, and three, for 50 cents each. The guy told me, you don't want those, you know, that don't waste your money, but uh, he doesn't know uh, apparently what he had. So yeah, I think they were good finds, to be honest. Especially Definitely. with Sony picking up yeah. vertical comics, so uh, for you to be able to pick up uh, Bloodshot, and what was the other one you said? Bloodshot 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, that was, yeah. I, I thought that was a good, good find, so. Definitely. Yeah, you never know how those are going to go. Yeah, you know? and then I got, uh, man, I can't, I can't remember. I'll show you guys later. Yeah, he'll show you later. I'll show you later. Marty, <laughs> send me your video or something. I can show both. Yeah. But, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, and I got to take a picture with uh, a Harley Quinn cosplay girl. And yeah. I'll maybe show that a little later on. And, um, what else? I, I think for the most part, it was a really nice day. It was just a kind of, you know, you made the day out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, just kind of made the day out of it. Had a good time and uh, found some really good variants, um, books and what have you. Just wasn't going to play those outrageous prices yeah. for some of those keys and silver ages, to be honest. Definitely. Um, but uh, overall, good day. Very good day. All right, everybody. So make sure to like, subscribe to our channels. Um, you know, I'll definitely post that in the links below. And uh, hey, just continue watching because we're going places. So you're going to come with us. And until next time, peace. Peace. Marty doesn't know that I'm recording him right now.